Bong. I'm Andy Curtin. I'm here with Mohammed Magdi Whee! and Vivek Magdi. <laughs> Say the other guy's name right. Vivek, <laughs> say the other guy's name Vivek right. Vivek Muhammad did. <laughs> yeah, Vivek Mag- 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 did it. <laughs> Mag did it. <laughs> I am back. <laughs> Muhammad Abu Dhabi. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> that works. Muhammad Abu Dhabi. That means I'm rich at some point. Really? Yeah. Abu is Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, yeah, is so, that yeah. wealthy? Yeah, it's very wealthy. Oh, I oh. thought it was just... Big. It's like the wealthy Dubai. Re- well, Dubai is not wealthy? <laughs> the, the Dubai is very wealthy. So Abu Dhabi is like the capital. So it's like where all the actual money is. Eh. Like the government of, of Emirates money is there. I didn't know that. It's ridiculous. That's sad though. Having like, if you're so wealthy, but your name is Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Abu Dhabi. You know, Abu someone's means, like, like father of. <laughs> oh, really? They're, yeah, yeah. So it's like, like father, of. father of Dhabi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dhabi. Yeah, yeah, that guy's exactly, loaded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dhabi. Oh, well, rich, rich, rich boy Dhabi. <laughs> and Dubai, it just means Dubai. That's yeah, yeah it exactly. Yeah. Or Dubai. Anyway. <laughs> So how, how do we let's find you? Let's restart this. No, <laughs> let's, let's no. <laughs> no, he needs to learn. <laughs> yeah, I agree. You can find me online at Andy Curtin on Instagram, everything else. Where do they find you? I'm at the other Muhammad on Instagram. That's my main uh, At Funny Vivek and of course at the other Muhammad because we're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you're enjoying the podcast, hit subscribe. Just subscribe. It means you'll get the podcast without having to go and find it. And also we do pay- our Patreons mm-hmm. uh, the best. Every Thursday, I bonus episodes. To be I enunciate every single word for that one. Yeah, we tell <laughs> you we don't just bleep out people's names. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, if you go to patreon.com ho ho pod, you can check that out. It is. And I cool. promise you incriminating evidence among all of us. <laughs> uh, it's well, it's nice to have you both on here to prove to the world that you are different people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do we sound different? I don't think so. <laughs> Not to I, me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everything makes sense now. I look, I listen to him. I'm like, he has an accent. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Karina it was like, Someone went up to her was like, oh my God, you sound like you're from America. And she's like, you'll see, I sound like American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, you sound like Putin's worst nightmare, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but that's the worst thing, man, hearing your own voice, dude. Like, whenever I watch my own sets from oh, you, man. Goes, oh, man. I how can't stand listening to your voice. I can't <laughs> listen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Same. All right. Yeah. There you go. He jumped the gun on this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the I, was about <laughs> yeah. like, I also can't watch your shows, dude, but yeah. On this podcast, I'm like, I got to get in there fast. Exactly. I'm I'm not waiting. I'm not leaving that door open. I just want to clarify to all the listeners, you may not audibly hear this, but I'm actually opposite to these two guys and I feel they're teaming up against me right now. Uh, I told you that, right? Yeah. Like, we were talking about this with guests. Last episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, like, some people are fine. Like, Alison Howe was on yeah. last episode. She's a pro. But certainly people that are nervous, yeah. you, the way you position, if yeah. it's two interviewers, yeah, yeah. if you got two across the table, yeah. it's pretty intimidating. Yeah. yeah. And we're at the moment, it looks like we're, we're literally in, <laughs> yeah, we're literally, literally in, interrogating I someone. I minimize the We're also, uh, just to, to set the scene, we're in your house, yeah. we're sitting on a table that has one interrogation light on <laughs> yeah. top and everything else is dark. Hey, that's my budget for this podcast, okay? <laughs> one bulb. And I'm pretending not to hear that muffled sound coming out of the cupboard over there. <laughs> 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 what is that? <laughs> that's, that's the guest for next week. <laughs> 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 Stay in there, Benjamin Cowling. <laughs> <laughs> you with your science. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Well, I, I've always wanted to do a pod with both of you guys, so it's like pretty fun. Yeah. And what a time to do it, man. We got shows. We have yeah. shows again. I happening, think man. by the time this comes out, <laughs> yeah. who knows, man? Who knows? Don't say yeah. it. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> Oh, I, are they messing with us, right? Every day I they're like, so. "Oh, well, look, the gym, yeah, yeah. people yeah. at the gym were sneezing." Yeah, yeah. the yes. old ladies were dancing. Yeah, so we have to shut the comedy shows down. Any basically <laughs> anybody who's trying to get fit is unhealthy. Right I think now. so. Yeah. I love how they're like, "Yeah, someone sneezed near the walking machine, so we put five hundred people in quarantine." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, man. so many people yeah. gone into quarantine. Yeah. You know why? Why that happened? Because nobody said, "God bless you." Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> those, those sinners yeah my kids uh teacher at kindergarten they were like 
The first day, they're like, nobody come in. Someone went near COVID. And then she wrote, she was like, I went to the gym. Oh, my <laughs> God. I went to the gym. Yeah. That's the I, word. Yeah. I'm going to be like, you didn't go to the gym yeah, enough. Just, just, yeah, just do blow like everybody. Why are you trying to stay in shape? <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, just, <laughs> yeah, nowadays, staying in shape is not good. Like I said, exactly. dancing crew, gym crew. It's always yeah. the guys working at restaurants, <laughs> running around. The guys sitting in the office not moving. Healthy. Exactly. Yeah. And then don't blow at night. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, the bankers, you don't see a problem there. Hong no. Kong's going to be the only city where the cocaine's cheaper than the gym. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But I mean, you know what's, what's weird with shows, though? It depends on where you're performing. I'm actually going to be doing that Philharmonic show. You heard about this? Yeah, yeah he was telling me about... off air. Yeah. Oh, I just imagine it's like... I know, it's boom, so fun. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. And he's like, hey, so are you guys in a relationship? Who here is in a relationship. <laughs> relationship. <laughs> are you guys married? <laughs> <laughs> and also, they're, they're kids. Exactly. <laughs> and like kids as well, whose parents are divorced. Yeah. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's an wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Oh my God. You got to yeah. get the dude with yeah, the big right? tuba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. And it turns out, oh, they're all. Wah, wah. <laughs> Yeah. How Uh-oh. how the James Adomian has a story about opening for Joan Rivers. Oh, I love that. It's such a you good ever story. Seen him? No, no, no. Oh, he's a he's a comic. He's a stand up, but he does really really like high level impressions. Yeah, like he's kind. He was a go to guy on Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. To okay. do like he would do a whole Bernie podcast. Sanders. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, he, he, do, yeah, Bernie Sanders. He was. They did a whole Bernie. Sanders and Trump show. They were like the premiere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also interviewed Bernie Sanders as, as Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. Oh my god. And but his Joan anyway, Rivers impression is yeah. on point. But so he was opening for her and he is performing to her audience or so like this really old people. Yeah. And he's a gay guy and he just said it right up front and he got booed off the stage. <laughs> oh. But he also not just that, he was like they had a band in the back. He's like, I don't know if you got booed off the stage before to the sound of the trombone. <laughs> but it takes an ironic tone. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I remember that bit was when uh she runs out on stage. Oh, yeah. He's bombing so bad. Oh, she God. she so runs good. out on stage <laughs> yeah. oh. and is like, you assholes. No, no, she goes, she goes, who booed him? Who heckled him? And some old lady goes, me, he wasn't funny. She goes, so what? He's not funny. You watch Jay Leno every night, you stupid cunt. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, good point. He's and then funny. she's like, he's friends with David Letterman. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, he was like, why did she say that? He realized... That was the youngest person that they knew. Give a letter now. Oh, poor guy, man. Yeah. Crowd. People are dying literally during the show. So, what do you, because I remember when we came out of waves in the past yeah. that the the Cantonese crowds were a little bit more reluctant. Yeah, like the, the expats are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. G- give a shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh sitting God. in the front row taking their mask off. Finally, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Uh, no. Do a show <laughs> at the peak. We don't care. We yeah. just want to be out of You can out. sneeze on my face. <laughs> yeah, I want interaction. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Even Cantonese shows still, I mean, people are still very conservative. I mean, uh, Tim Chan's actually putting on a show at the end of March, March 27th, 28th. He's Where doing, is he doing he's it? He's doing it in Shem Shapo in an upstairs place. There's a cafe down downstairs and there's like upstairs room mm. so it's kind of making like a semi-private show mm. so people come on up there they watch the show but it, all the precautions you know everyone's got to get their mask on mm. uh performers probably have to keep their mask on performing as well and i'll tell you a funny pre-show thing. anal swab for the audience that is only for the foreigners yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's you, a new if, you have, if you have a hong kong passport you're safe to go <laughs> it's okay anything else though oh, stick it up there would stick you get there. a hong kong passport i would Right? Yeah, I would. You could do that too. I, I can think. do that, but I will keep my Egyptian passport in case. Oh, you can have both? I don't know if I can have both. I'm fairly certain you. if you don't declare, nobody knows. Yeah, you I wouldn't declare yeah, them. Yeah. Is that true? You, I don't think you can have both. No. But you can just keep them and not declare it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would do just in case, you know, China suddenly hypothetically comes over. Yeah, well, yeah. Hypothetically. Yeah. yeah. When if he were China hi- if China would hypothetically yeah. take over Hong yeah. Kong. And yeah. then suddenly I went from like an, an, a, a passport upgrade to a massive downgrade. <laughs> and then yeah. like, no! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how you keep the Egyptian passport. Yeah. Ooh, this is good stuff. Who knew the Egyptian passport would be of any value at some point? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm shocked. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> No, I'll tell you one thing though with uh, with shows nowadays, I'm actually, that Philharmonic show, the reason I'm telling you that is because I had a meeting with them yesterday and the policy is in government venues, LCSD venues, 
the performers, number one, cannot touch or be close to the audience. Number two, you cannot provoke the audience to quote unquote make some noise. You cannot <laughs> tell them to basically cheer with their mouths. They can clap, they can stomp, but they cannot make some noise. But you can't do crab work, I guess. That's absolutely what, not. Yeah. <laughs> and you definitely not cannot be like, what's your name? They're like, oh, don't provoke them to answer you. And you basically cannot have them open their mouths as much as you can. Stop them from opening the mouths. Wait, isn't anything. that the opposite of what you're trying to do as a yeah. comedian? I was told that yesterday. Shows on Sunday. <laughs> so I have like three days. Wait, How tell me exactly that? what they told you. Okay. So basically the policy is we have to minimize the audience opening their mouths during the show. Is that yeah. a COVID thing or is that COVID, COVID thing? Oh, COVID okay. Thing. So yeah, it's yeah. not this a general not, This policy. is not a national security issue. Okay. okay? <laughs> I just want to make sure. This yeah. is purely COVID. Everyone keeps their masks on. Good question though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so because that's, a, that's no, how because messed up the situation is, is that I thought it might be just the general policy. No, that's the government venue policy. Yeah. So private venues it's another game right yeah. but government they're like super strict first of all you got to get tested seven days before the show to wait uh, the audience too uh no the performers oh. all of them have to be tested yeah. and then because of that the performers and the audience cannot be in contact because mm. i may you know contaminate sure. from you and all that yeah stuff. vex like they're like you gotta get tested vex like all the performers <laughs> they're like sure <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. sure. yeah. Ironically, yeah. I was, you mean all of the performer? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of the performer. Yeah, yeah, yeah every yeah. hall. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, they skip on the testing procedure. Basically, the test is like this, right? You do the test, you get in the spit test, whatever, right? And they basically tell you if there's one person that has it, they don't tell you who it is. They'll just say if one person amongst your, your team has it, it's done. The show's over. Right. Not happening. So they don't point out who it is, though. I'm like, oh, this is very fast. Yeah, you would know when they Wait, disappear, though. they test you. Someone so tests a positive. A company tests it. They yeah. test all the performers yeah. and one batch. If just one person has COVID, they will not specify who that person is. I feel like they should know. They will know, but they won't specify to the team. The whole show's off. They won't tell anybody else. Uh, basically, the, 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 the people doing the testing will know that this group of people, <laughs> one of them has one or basically it's, it's so mastermind weird. right one or more are correct right yeah <laughs> and you have to kind of guess like is it you is it you did you cough you know, i think you will know when one person doesn't show up the next day to the rehearsal <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, don't you get in prison if you have it like <laughs> yeah. how are they not going to figure this out <laughs> like we're not going to tell anyone but uh yeah. we are going to drag you out of the room exactly yeah but phil is I, missing hey all i know i mean maybe everyone's sharing the same saliva i don't know i just like you know you use mine you use mine i don't know. i have no all i know is i was told that you make sure you give the specimen to them and then and if one person in the group gets it, the show's off. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty bad. And that's pretty scary. Yeah. But they won't tell you who. So you're like, someone's got it. Is it me? I don't know. I spoke to him, but I didn't touch him. I mean, he was close, but not that close. What do we do? So it's, 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 a, it's a weird time. With government stuff, you can make them cheer. Dude, I had a whole bit. Yo, yo, make some <laughs> silence. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we're talking three years and above, man. Like, imagine a comedian yeah. getting on stage and you're like, your objective is to entertain them. But not provoke them, yeah, and not let them respond. Three with years and above. I know a few Three open mic. And above. I know a few open mics that seem to <laughs> be intent on not provoking yes, any laughter. I need, yeah, I need, exactly. I need that the profile right now. I need a replacement. I think yeah. you'll do very well. I th I can give you a few names. Yeah. That would do great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like holding myself <laughs> <I> back. <know. laughs> so open mics and stuff are back, right? Things they would, they oh, would yeah. kill on this well. show. Oh man, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's perfect. A good, yeah, yeah. I it's want the show you were born. To do exactly. yeah. <laughs> you, what material should I do? Your material, Your material. yeah, yeah. Do, do any of it, do, but that, do that I, same joke you do every <laughs> single time you go on stage, yeah, yeah. somehow anticipating a different response. <laughs> this time, we want that response, <laughs> yeah. And I bet you anything, someone's gonna laugh, yeah. yeah. Uh. So, uh, you, you asked if open mics are back on, so bars are not open, yeah, and that that's kind of like a bit of a staple for some of the open mics, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's ironic, like, the, if the riff was open, yeah, yeah, yeah. the bar would be shut. Yeah. But the room would be yeah, open. Yeah, and you could. You could. We could, that. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we just wouldn't be able to sell drinks. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, which for the riff is massive part of the business model. Obviously. So. But somebody coming in, at least, you know, maybe entering a ticket. But people can't, so, they, so you can't watch a show and eat or drink. You can eat or drink, but you can't watch a show at the same time, right? Yeah, that's, correct. That's yeah, you can't be in the venue having yeah. food. Exactly. While watching a show. Correct, correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about like 
you feel so bad about how much money they lost until the day they fired us. And then you're yeah. like, oh, I'm so glad they lost that much money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Who would have oh, suddenly that was... Suddenly that number became like a br- like little butterflies yeah, flying yeah, around yeah, it. Yeah. You know? so, how much? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys <laughs> lost all that money. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, oh, now we need the, the, the orchestra. Exactly. Wah, yeah, wah, orchestra. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Can I borrow your slide whistle, sir? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, the open mics are back. But they're also like mostly in like venues that are friends with the. We promoters. were doing open mics on r- rooftops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we yeah. were legitimately. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, we were. The, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. we're doing some open mics on, on rooftops. Unnamed person's <laughs> rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened. Basically, yeah. no one was above you when there was. Yeah, shows going nothing. On. It was called Mopin Mike, but that doesn't show. <laughs> 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 Mopin Mike. Which is, by the way, the most accurate name for a mo- open mic ever. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mope and Mike. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. <laughs> but but now open mics are like at venues that like friends with the promoters yeah so most of the time they're just like yeah you can stand here and talk <laughs> but this is not a show by the yeah. way i in the last few years the number of times i've been told hey if the police come in yes this is the birthday party you ever had oh, that I, yeah, yeah, yeah dude i was in taipei yeah. and i was doing a show i'm gonna say like at least 200 people maybe 300 people it was a pretty big show and it's it was it was on the Top floor of this building, but huge room, obviously. And I get in there, it's fucking packed. You know, I'm about to go on the stage, big stage. And the guy's like, oh, by the way, if I wave my phone at you, just dive into the audience. (laughs) And I'm the only white person. Yeah, they like if they're gonna you. find me really yeah. quickly. Yeah. You know, well, the, the, the logic is that they replace you with a local person and then suddenly it's not a show. Yeah. yeah, which is exactly the same thing you told me in Taiwan as well. They're like, there is always a local comedian standing right next to the stage. Yeah. If there is a signal, you jump off, he jumps on, and now it becomes something else. That I like the idea of like, <laughs> I'm up there and you're just pretending that you're just someone standing in the bar. Exactly. You're like, yeah. has anyone seen my phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And everyone's like, Tim Budong, don't talk to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is so weird. Like, Garen has a great story about the same room in Taiwan. Yeah. When he goes, like, they give, give him the same rules hey uh if something goes if you feel something's up just get off stage because that means the police is coming that's at the craft bar if you bar. feel something's up yeah, <laughs> yeah. what a vague <laughs> yeah so that's like, at the, the craft bar downstairs in Taipei. Said, well that that was for my english one the chinese yeah. one was a huge one but yeah. the english one was the english there. one's the same room so anyway because it's a basement <laughs> comedian standing next to the light switch while garen's on stage so he accidentally turns off the light uh-huh. and the signal when the police comes is that this is a birthday party <laughs> so he turns off the light and everyone in the audience goes happy birthday <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh god. you can't make that stuff up man <laughs> 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 and he's just standing with me like what the fuck just happened that'd be so weird they finish the song they turn the lights on Gan's like oh, th- thank you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the 90% chance he incorrectly went back to do that bit <laughs> 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 Trying to piss it up. Yeah. So anyway, I was yeah, in a yeah. date with my exactly. girlfriend. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So my girlfriend is white. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. <laughs> yeah everyone's like, it's, it's over. Go yeah, on. yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Even the understudy hanging outside, like, let me, let me on, let me on. Yeah. Let me do this right now. Dude, I want video of that. That's so. It's funny. so funny. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to. It was all dark. You couldn't see anything. You can hear him. Yeah, I can, exactly. can hear him crying. Yeah. <laughs> I want to finish my punch. Line. Oh, man. That uh, was a great room. I like that It was room. a good room, yeah. Apparently, the new club is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're the, killing it, dude. You know, I so want to go. You know Sam, Taiwan, yeah. Sam Yabs? Yeah, 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 Sam Yabs. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. runs this club in, in tai, Taipei now. And yeah. it's and it's like 150 cap. It's quite big. It's, wow. it's, it's risen to the... T- it's got to be the best club in Asia now. Oh, yeah. Man. What's, what's right, better? Yeah. No, nothing. Oh, crack house, crack house. Oh yeah, yeah, in Malaysia. It's more established, but I think that one is just looks nicer and it's bigger too. Because crack house is like hundred cap, maybe. Yeah, I still want to get booked at crack house. So I'm oh, not talking shit about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally saying there is another <laughs> venue that is nice. Yeah. Also, yeah. there is no chance Rizal listens to this, so it doesn't yeah, matter. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he will after I message him. <laughs> yeah. he was, uh, listen to how I listen to how I defended you guys. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you know how Muhammad's got that weekend I want. Yeah. Uh, you gotta listen to this podcast. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man! Oh, I, I, I can say this. I really miss having that regular venue that you you know this is quality venue. Yeah. Right? Oh, you miss it? 
<laughs> okay, I don't miss it. Oh yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, <laughs> you poor thing. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh poor boo boo. <laughs> but, but you know what? We're, we're doing shows at the hub now. The hub's pretty great. Yeah, it's, that's nice. It's pretty it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, those big screens behind you—that's pretty badass. You know yeah. what? Sometimes your room just works. You know yeah. that room works. That's a nice room. It's yeah. been it's been pretty pretty strong. Every yeah. show we've had has been really strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's also low ceilings, which is obviously yeah. very important. I mean, the most important thing is having the comedians know that there are two spots on the stage that you have to avoid. The ones that basically have you aligned right in front of that pillar. That yeah, nobody yeah. can see you. It's like yeah. you just disappear. I'm like, no, don't, no, don't, 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 yeah, don't, go don't there. do that. Right? Yeah, it's also the stage is huge. You can huge. go somewhere else. Why do you need to stay in one, yeah. that one? Little Actually, you area? know what? On this. Note, I will put a sticker on stage to tell people to avoid like an X on stage. Dude, I'm not is this a real problem? Yeah, stand. it is. Because people stand right yeah, in front of the pillar. Did I do that? No. I think like just like you don't even you don't notice realize. It. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. standing at one position and just well, messes up I half would, the room. I would have thought... It's because it's also kind of center stage, to be honest. It's like not... It's Yeah, it's kind of center. I, yeah. I, thought, I would have thought because I'm looking at him, I could see what so I'm you're, missing. So because you're... Because you care. You actually notice the audience. Some mm. performers don't. Yeah, they look at their feet or the yeah. freaking ceiling. Yeah. There, are, I, there have been cases in the hub when we did like Laugh Festival the first show. I'm like, uh, could you move? Like, yeah. I don't see you. You don't see yeah. me. You see what that means? That means we can't see each other. Also, so if, funny. I went to another show. I was trying not to excite the audience. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I went to time. another show not run by us and they had this like we- weird like panel thing sh- like dividing the room in half. Oh yeah. my. Like a black thing. Oh my God. So anyway, I was just watching the show so I didn't say anything and then I go to the show the week after the show that we are running and I ask yeah. the guy, hey, what's up with this thing? He's like, yeah, I don't know. There was some people having a meeting and so it was like two different rooms basically. I'm like, can you remove it? And he goes, okay. And he just removes it. Like, like, which means the first promoter didn't even bother to yeah. ask. Yeah. Like he just looked at it, he's like, okay, I guess that's what it is. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. dude, it's wrong. Just d-. and I watched that show. We're sitting in one room. Imagine having a show and there's someone else in the other room yeah. watching the same show. Yeah, it's weird, right? It's very weird. Dude, I've done shows where I'm in one room and mm. there are these people sitting outside of watching the same show on yeah. a screen. Yeah. Have you done shows like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the room in Phnom Penh is like that. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So, oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've done that one. Yeah. But the weirdest thing though is that they don't have speakers in the outside room where they're watching the screen. Yeah. They can hear my voice from the inside room. <laughs> <laughs> so but like just it. your face on yeah. the screen. Yeah. That's pretty weird. And they weird. did that because of COVID issues. Like yeah. I was doing a community center and they couldn't fit everybody in that one room because they had to keep a 1.5 meter and everything. Yeah. And they're like, can we put the people outside? I'm like, but what? And so I actually was like, what if I stand at the doorway yeah. between the two rooms? <laughs> they're like, yeah, but our camera can't film you. <laughs> like, oh my God, just... Oh, I don't know what to do. Whatever, let's just do the show. Have you ever seen the room in Phnom Penh? Because it's really interesting. Yeah. So it's basically a bar that has two floors. Yeah. So you are performing to the second floor. You're it's upstairs. almost a, me- it's a mezzanine, really. Yeah, it's a mezzanine, yeah. Okay. okay so you're okay. performing to the people on the second floor. The people on the ground floor can see the back of your head. But and, and a TV. See, and a TV <laughs> with the front of your head. <laughs> so it's a TV and then you're standing yeah, facing well, the other way behind so the TV. Say, and then dimensions. the crowd is facing them. <laughs> that yes. is so weird, man. <laughs> that is so it's weird. It's very strange. <laughs> oh, my God. I did a theater in Phnom Penh. Yeah, I think you're the only one. And then they shut down the whole country yeah. after that. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> exactly right. They had a military coup there. Did you there. not dive in the audience when things got when something was up? Turns out they weren't ready for my Pol Pot material. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I was like, <laughs> come here, Roosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roosh fans here, make some noise. No, they can't. They cannot. <laughs> they cannot. Not, not COVID times, man. <laughs> this is weird, man. I love hearing like different comedians talking about all the weird rooms they've done before. Okay, can I oh. share one? I got oh one. So we did this one in, in uh, like, that, remember that like Hong Chao Lu in like South west of Shanghai yeah. and it was a bar, it was a big a sports bar big bamboo they had this massive second floor and they they gave us the second floor and then we get there and they just put a curtain down half of it so it's like show on one side and then a bunch of dudes that sitting in a sport bar on the other side of a thin <laughs> curtain <laughs> And the semi show, see-through, semi see-through curtain. Nah, but it was like, it was thin but there was anything, the, the, yeah, doesn't matter. The, there yeah. was space underneath it. Oh, okay, right. Okay, yeah, and yeah. so I, I've got the job of telling everyone, "Hey, can you keep it down? We've got a show going on. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a show going on the other yeah, side yeah. of the curtain." And uh, of course, like one French dude's like, "I will not be quiet," you know. <laughs> I will not be you silent. Be I'm like, you can go riots? anywhere else in this bar. <laughs> no. So yeah. he has to sit there. All right, Olivier Melody, can you not <laughs> complain about the shows? <laughs> well, yeah. so it got to a point where he 
threw open the curtain mm. and was like, this fucking shit! <laughs> and Turner was on stage. He goes, thank you for breaking the stereotype of French guys being assholes. <laughs> I'm just like crushed. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh Perfect my God, I hate doing shows in bars. Did oh. you, you remember? We did the show together, Yangon. Yangon was a weird room too. Oh, that was okay. They had a music show downstairs. Bad room. Bad room. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You ever done Yang- Yangon? No, no. I haven't it's, done Yangon. Yeah. So it's like a two-story bar with a massive, like, uh, what do like you call it? Like a circular yeah. staircase, you know? Oh, yeah. oh. And it's a big open circle in the middle of the room. Dude, that reminds me of uh, uh, Gunting in Kuala Lumpur. But go on. You finish the first. I'll tell you about mm. that one. Yeah. And so it's like half of the people that are watching the show are behind the circle. It's a huge circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be like 10 meters in diameter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're sort of like playing to the people that are close to you, but then there's a gap and the high ceilings and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, you're in Yangon though. It's oh like... Oh my God. Yeah. Round, round stage But then downstairs, weird. there was also a band... Pl- I think it was, it was also like uh, St. Patrick's Day or something because everyone was wearing green. I feel like it's St. Patrick's Day every day in those bars. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what about yeah. Drew did that room and pooped his pants on stage? I know. Really? Yeah. Yeah. A part of the actor just by no. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, that you actually that was, assumed that, that because that was true. Yeah, true, no, right? Because no, exactly. you know I mean? the last time he was in Hong Kong, and I think he won the festival, is when he had that that whole weird uh, act, right, where he was like spinning around and stuff. Sure, he didn't poop his pants. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe that, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, that's his thing. Knowing yeah. him, it's funny that you was thinking. It's maybe so it's part good. of his act. I love that. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> of all the comics you know, yeah. Drew, might have been his, yeah. might have been his closer. <laughs> I mean, come on. Speaking <laughs> of weird shows, Drew, so many times in Shanghai, he would just go on open mic with an idea, and the idea most of the time is throwing shit at the audience. Oh, my God. See? This he would just like, I would like, at some point, he's like, Drew, if you do that, you have to clean up the room. Yeah. He would throw cigarettes at the audience. He oh would throw God. pieces of bread at the audience. The he I would used smash to watermelons him. on stage. Oh, God. And the alligator style, yeah. Yeah. And here's the craziest part. Most of the time, it works. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. It, and we're just sitting there fucking writing jokes about, yeah. oh, what about relationships? He's like, take the ma- <laughs> and Drew goes up with a watermelon, <laughs> smashes it on stage, and everyone is dying laughing. I spend days writing jokes. This guy goes to the supermarket. <laughs> yeah. exactly. I have a two renminbi watermelon, please. <laughs> the funniest he did was, uh, I wasn't there for it, but he booked, He'd been booked to headline the, the, the original room at Kung Fu Comedy and Turner was running it and Des Bishop, we just found out who Des Bishop was. Yeah, yeah. We didn't know who he was. He's hugely famous in Ireland. He was like, I want to do a show. We're like, we're booked for eight o'clock. You can have the 10 o'clock slot. So he messages, he tweets it out and every Irish person in greater China calls yeah, Turner, trying to yeah. get tickets, sells out straight away. So Turner says to Drew, we've got a real tight turnover. 100 people going in, 100 people going out, one door. Don't fuck the oh, room up. Man. Don't mess the room yeah. up. That's it. Don't mess the room Let up. Let me guess. Let me guess. <laughs> he shit his pants on Plot twist. <laughs> so anyway, so he gives him the light, walks out. Des is at the bar signing autographs for, for like a line of redheads. Yeah. And <laughs> for this just like freckle brigade. <laughs> and, uh, and then as he walks out of the room, Drew produces a piñata filled with cigarettes yeah. from somewhere hooks it up on the back of the stage, gives a thing to, the, to a woman in the front row who knocks it off, knocks the whole back of the stage off. <laughs> oh, God. Drew al- also drop? randomly put a bar of soap in the piñata. <laughs> so he starts throwing cigarettes out into the crowd. He hits a girl in the front row square in the face with the bar oh of soap. Oh, my God. She starts screaming. <laughs> Turner walks in like... like an atom yeah, bomb like has a, just hit the exactly, room. Like a no. terrorist just yeah. shooting up Drew the room. goes and hides in the girls' bathroom because oh, yeah. Turner wouldn't go in there. Yeah. He's sitting sat in the cubicle for 45 <laughs> minutes <laughs> while the girl's boyfriend's like, where the fuck's a comedian? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Drew headliner for you. Oh, my God, oh, man. man. Woo. How did Des Bishop do after that? He's like, uh, so uh, that's awkward. Yeah. 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 yeah I, 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 I don't even know how to do yeah. an Irish accent. He doesn't yeah, have an Irish accent. Yeah, I, I've never he seen him. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's from I, Quaints. Yeah, oh. yeah I, I saw him in like Australia once. I was like, that's pretty good. I, I, I wouldn't have thought, oh, Irish guy. Well, he, he, well Bishop, his story is that he was like 12 or 13 and had a drinking problem. Yeah. So they sent him to Ireland. 
Ah, uh, of course. Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't yeah. they? Fight fire with fire. Yeah, right? yeah. No, it's yeah. like, you know, it smokes the whole pack, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that'll yeah, take you him. like cigarettes? Hey, my kid is kind of an asshole. Send him to France. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. You started that first, okay? Yeah, yeah but you didn't realize you're going to yeah. bring your hat yeah. toolbox. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, so this is good. Because, like, this is pretty much like how you would hash up comedy bits that you have ideas and you told your open mics and and pray that this open mic doesn't crash with someone hitting a pinata or whatever right i yeah. don't know how he pulled it off like i just don't think like that i yeah. can't think like that i mean, I, I admire it because you can't he can't make it work yeah i remember yeah. what watching he, i remember one time he covered the entire stage in potato chips and then just stood there vacuuming for like two minutes yeah and he was killing yeah and people were dying laughing. That's like, what's like Andy Kaufman? Is that that his name, right? Yeah. He, he did all these yeah. kind of weird things where you're like, this is weird, but people... It's cerebral appreci- as well. Yeah. Like, he always kind of has a point. That's the thing, the crazy yeah. thing about it. It's not just like, yeah, you said like Andy Kaufman or like er, even uh, um, early uh, fucking, what's his name? The uh, mask guy. I'm, I'm blanking. Oh, Jim uh, Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, like, a lot of it is like, you know, physical, but you feel like there is... Yeah, you're just, just messing it? around, but like, there's but more to it. Drew usually has something to say with his really weird act. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. The, <clears throat> like the artist statement, uh, this is a symbol yeah, yeah. for how the world sucks. But it also sometimes doesn't work, which uh, look, obviously over the years you see it sometimes not working and he takes huge risks. And the final of the China International oh Competition. Oh, my God. Oh. Go- that is the final. And he goes up as Lady Macbeth. <laughs> and not just that he's dressed up with a wig, a blonde wig. He does 10 brand new minutes he has never, ever done. Oh. In the with, final. There was a the semifinal. Final. There was a third <laughs> round. He, yeah. uh, he, well, by the way, he and he won the, the second. Pre- he won the semifinal. Oh, yeah, God. he crushed the semifinal. Everyone, yeah. that's the guy. People are telling their friends that's the guy to watch. He's going to have his, his best set ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, guy... He died <laughs> so hard. Oh my god! It was very entertaining for us, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even funnier than that, though, was the next year he won Hong Kong. Yeah. Won China. Yeah. And we had this like all stars show on the last night, and it was you know there were a bunch of pros there that were judging it, and it, it was a pretty stacked lineup. Yeah. And he's closing the show. And, and the host says, "Hey, this guy won Hong Kong. Yeah. Won China." Give it up, comes out, and he bombs oh. <laughs> for two minutes straight. And just after two minutes of bombing, there's a pause, and someone in the back goes, Woof, who lost? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Which is the best heckle I've heard. I, I, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, very oh, smart man. over there. Like, guys, that's a, that's a very curious question. <laughs> I'm so, yeah. so happy to be doing shows again. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah I'm, I'm very excited. How, I'm how rusty do you feel coming back? It's weird because the first time I went on stage was like two weeks ago. Because, you know, I haven't done any of the open mics in you between. You had a good set. Yeah, so I went in. I just had like a, whatever I said. I don't even remember it. And as soon as I got into my first bit, I'm like, oh, I remember how this works. It's like <laughs> not driving a car for two years. Yeah, yeah, In the yeah. beginning, you're like, ah. And then you're like, oh, hey, shit. run over a few kids. And exactly. then you're like, oh, I got this and now. you're like, yeah. I got this. I remember this now. Yeah, this still 7 million. It felt kids. like in the second half, it felt like I was just doing a show last night. Yeah. You know? It's like yeah, I was yeah. comfortable. I started walking around, muscle memory, started messing yeah. around. Muscle memory kicked in. Yeah. Had a lot of fun. It's oh, man. so good. Man. Well, have you done any shows yet? I only did that show uh, at, uh, at PMQ. The one where, where that Tammy organized. So that was my first. Oh, you did so so far, yeah, so far. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. my god! I had the cops kept shutting it down. Hey, they didn't shut it down, but they were walking by trying to get a ticket, but they couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, that like, was the ticket first. Ticket flap slash show farmer. Yeah, Thank too you. Too late, too late, sir. Yeah. <laughs> we would like a ticket. Yeah, I'm like, you mean like a ticket that I pay a fine or ticket to a show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I I did. I that. give you a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so the I did that show. It was weird because like I was look, really looking for. I was like, oh man, it's gonna be exciting. I go there. It wasn't the most ideal of situations, but I, I did it, and I, I left thinking I'm like, well, I did the show, but oh man, it was. It, it what was not I- ideal? What's not ideal, man? Uh, let's reverse the question. What was ideal? Let's put it that uh, way. Being indoors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was a weird thing because the the sound wasn't the best. Uh, the, the whole venue setting was kind of semi outdoor, so it was a challenge. It automatically would be one of those scenes where you're like okay this is gonna i gotta get through it survival yeah yeah yeah. it's survival mode and also like you gotta think of what will work here they're tired they've been eating what's going on you know what is amazing you were just telling me that it was only one speaker yeah i thought about it now 
all these cups have speakers. You could have just connected to the Bluetooth speakers. <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly the show's blasting in the back as well. You know what's funny? It was a wireless speaker system. So <laughs> chances no, are they probably hacked in there. Like, we don't you need a ticket. You could have easily hacked their speakers and then the start of the show would be much better. Right. Did you hear about our friend Hack the Police speaker? What? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Bluetooth speaker logged on and played Fuck the Police. <laughs> <laughs> Got a massive fine. $5,000 fine. And, oh. and and the person but, was like, worth it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my God. That's right. That's good. Apparently, it's just a Bluetooth speaker. You could just connect it yeah. with your phone. But how did they find out it was her, though? Like, how would they know it was her playing the song? She didn't leave. I she think like, she didn't leave. Or might, she might have been giving them the finger. She knew all the lyrics. Or uh, was yeah. it like the closer they got to her, the better the sound uh, quality? Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's her, it's her. Yeah. That's so funny. They're just moving people back. Yeah, yeah. They're just running the speaker around. Hey, like, hey, fuck the, fuck the bullies. <laughs> ah, it's you, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so weird. Yeah. Oh, um, my God. I mean, the funny thing is, like, $5,000, that's pretty good for you just copyright. I mean, she would have to pay for copyright and all the uh, licensing, yeah. so that's pretty all right. Not bad. Also, how dumb are they that you just walk around with a Bluetooth speaker? It's so on? funny just, like, where you're like... People, it's also this shitty pre-recorded message. It probably... I have a 10 p.m. Yeah. It's like, come on, dude. It probably... Because, like, on their device, a button for on and off was written in English. On and off. <laughs> 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 what is this? There's two O's, two What F's, is this? Hieroglyphics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, is a, this is a code. What does this mean? The Patreon episode will be from prison. Yeah. What is this? What is this? The circle Z circle with two guns. What, what's this word? It's like, okay, never mind. Yeah. Um, it's funny how you give them all this credit for like, they're going to use the data con- to control us and stuff. And then they're like, yeah, we use Bluetooth speakers. <laughs> yeah. That you can hack into. Yeah, you, exactly. just can hack, you can just connect yeah, to. Exactly. Why do you set it to be discovered? Yeah, hacking is really overlooking yeah, exactly. the fact that it's basically unattended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. You don't really hack a notebook when you write it. It's like, you know, it's, it's open. Write something. No, but okay, so it shows. So open mics are back. Yeah. Uh, shows are happening. Open mics yeah. aren't fully back. Okay, but some I mean, open mics are back. People are allowed to go on stage when they're not funny. Let's put it that way. Yeah, right? they're already <laughs> allowing that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and people are still allowed to. Should have kept that band. <laughs> 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 so that because because for Cantonese shows still, I mean, when we talk to people, they're still a bit like where you like, for example, the Philharmonic gig. Mm. They actually have two shows: one on a Saturday night for uh, basically more adults, and mm. one a Sunday for the family. Oddly enough, normally family shows sell out easily. This time around, family shows are struggling. Oh, because they don't want to take. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So a lot of families are like, hey, you know, the kids going to school, there's yeah. a lot of issues. Which makes sense. Exactly. I think, honestly, I think, a, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I know a lot of people, the concern is not so much that they'd get COVID, but if they even just get into contact with someone, yeah. the inconvenience, yeah. if you get into quarantine, kids in quarantine, it's, yeah. it's really problematic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't want to be the guy causing it. Yeah, yeah I mean, they, like, they had, what did they have, like, a, a few people sick and they put 270 people in quarantine. Oh, yeah, 500 building, or something? Yeah, yeah. Down. I mean, more? Like, can you imagine yeah, I think you go more. on Sunday for the concert, you, you're oh. sick, and then Monday, no school, you're stuck in the whole building, the whole building hates you. Kindergarten's shut this week. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So imagine the parents who are like, my kid's going to have no future now. Dude, from that one gym... Uh, our kindergarten shot. Uh, one of the ESFs is shot. The French International School is shot. Yeah. Uh, Ke- Kellogg is shot. Uh, wow. Kennedy is the ESF yeah. one. It's yeah, just yeah. like it's the, that's <sighs> full schools. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, like, well, as long as you stay away from the comedy shows, I don't care what a shot. Oh, dude, don't even mention it. Oh, yeah. just, it just so be so now so we bad. have a declaration form for all comedy shows. Have you been out of Hong Kong? Yes or no. Have you in, come in contact with anyone with COVID? I, yes or no. Are you a trainer? Yes or no. <laughs> can, can, <laughs> can you imagine yet. if you work out? <laughs> yeah, can no you imagine answer. if you're in a bar and they have to go through those pieces of paper, people writing down their names? Oh my god! And it's like uh, Chewbacca, <laughs> yeah. you know, Tyrion, oh, La- yeah, yeah. Tyrion Lannister. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Usually Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> Mrs. Chairman Mao. <laughs> 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 this is literally like Bart Simpson's giving Moe's a call. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Uh, uh, hello? We're, looking for, look, we're looking for a big boobs. Big boobs. Any big boobs, <laughs> any big boobs here? Uh, yeah, exactly. uh, hello, uh, I'm huge ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a huge ass in the house? <laughs> I got a lovely you, sir. This kind of backfired a little bit. but um, <laughs> No, but COVID is a weird time, I have to say. like Especially when you perform with masks on sometimes. like You will have to do gigs with masks. Oh, on. it's the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes... like they It give ruins you the, the show. 
Jordan, yeah. who is a great comedian, he performs with masks, but he has really, really, really low energy. It wow. works. So for him. it comes out as like almost mumbling, but it's yeah. also adorable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because he's trying hard. Yeah. Because he also sounds stoned the whole time, and he's not. Yeah. Is he but not? I thought no, he was stoned the whole no, time. Yeah, it's just his face. <laughs> <laughs> Poor that guy. It sounds really racist when you put it like that. <laughs> he's born. <laughs> parents are looking at him. Doctor's like, you're uh, like, no, bro, he's just trying. He also wears yeah. Crocs on stage. <laughs> so fuck too him. Much you know, yeah. <laughs> maybe too much morphine for the baby. <laughs> but yeah. he also isn't dependent on expression. You know, yeah. expression is such a big thing. Yeah, for a lot of comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, no, that's that's his smartness, though. He talked, he took that away. You yeah. just like listening to his sleepy voice and yeah. de- delivering really good jokes. I'm shocked. They're very, mo- very monotone. <laughs> You're like, oh, I was there. Uh, was he's there. killing yeah. it in Cantonese, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. And Jordan easily just comes on. Uh, so we did an old people's home, man. We did that show. Did you? Yeah, we did Damn. old people's home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I've done those gigs. Hey, let me just say, <laughs> they were there the whole show. I was happy about that. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, Jordan did it. And he was like, yeah, so uh, I'm like, wow, they're actually enjoying this kind of energy. I would have thought, you know, older people, they're like, hey, this is yeah. tiring for me. He's but very like, good with making it connect. You yes. know, yeah. I've seen yeah, a lot yeah, yeah. of people can't get that style to work in all rooms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you have to have the look. And well. the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I think the confidence is a part of it. You have to look sleepy and yeah. high even though you're not. Yeah. You have to, like, I'm, I'm still not sure he's not high. <laughs> yeah. You have to just look naturally born tired. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out. We've he's been like, sitting on the guy's looks for like five minutes. Yeah. yeah. You can, I think I mean, he'll still be happy. I mean, it's a good thing he's covering that ugly face. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Have a bit at least 50%. The funny part is that as a comedian, he would listen to that and he would be very happy that we're saying he has good good material. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he wouldn't yeah. give a shit about that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan, <laughs> he's like, uh, he gets on the stage. He's like, I'm tired, and the old people are like, we can relate to this. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly, <laughs> <They're> <laughs> relatable material. Years. Have you tried the heroin? <laughs> I can imagine, like, when he was born, normally kids are like, Wah, crying. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, <laughs> I'm here again. Yeah. Stop waking me up. I'm tired. <laughs> It'll be so good, though, when we really... Like, this scene is just so ready to pop, man. Oh, the yeah, level yeah. of talent right yeah. now, it's way better than anything we ever had in Shanghai. Yes. Yeah. Way, way better. Like, yeah. great Yeah, better. it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, also yeah. like the level is closer to each other. Yeah. Because usually when we had in Shanghai, we usually had tears. Yeah. So, like, and then every yeah, time... Yeah, kind of the headliner guys yeah, yeah, and the yeah, next yeah. guys. But every time the top tier would just leave. They yeah, I would grow the scene and they move to New York. Yeah, yeah but yeah, here yeah. everyone is here. Yeah, yeah, and we're getting closer to each other. So Jordan is a great example because he's kind of new. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Has, I know he's done it like in LA and stuff, but he's new in the scene. Yeah, yeah. But he's putting pressure on people like us even because on the show is like he's killing. Debbie's killing. I'm yeah. not gonna. I have to step up my game. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this fucking new guy is killing. Yeah, so exactly. I have if to you're do something. Bet, you're like, oh man, I gotta, exactly. I gotta represent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's great. That's really good. I mean, that first showcase we had, he had the best set, and it was a great show. Exactly. I yeah. mean, everyone was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's exciting. I mean, anybody who wants to watch shows, just go online. This and I love the healthy pressure as well. Oh, that's necessary. Because this is a scene that is really healthy for the most part. Yeah. It's like it's remarkably positive. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like scenes normally, there's a lot of negativity. There's, there's a lot of drama. Factions. Yeah. There's yeah. people don't like people. Yeah. yeah. And there's yes. also like promoters who don't work with each other or whatever. There is none of that. Yeah, none of that. some of that. Yeah, maybe not on the same Dude, level. What are you maybe just maybe. lying now? <laughs> no, but not on, you know. Not, okay, so the main promoters, <laughs> uh, significant promoters, promoters yeah. that actually have some po- sort of pull anymore. You know the ones that do shows every week and you know <laughs> yeah, pay yeah. rent anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one who actually do the real oh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I need to do a show. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I need the basement, please. <laughs> you know those people that book you know real comedians and not their family members. <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, man, no, it's good to see this. I'm, I'm looking forward. To it. Give it like maybe a few more months. I'm oh, confident. I think, think it's going to be lit, dude. Yeah, dude. End of 2021, man. I'm looking forward to like some crazy stuff happening. Maybe even the festival. You know, who who knows? The laugh festival. I was might talking to, to someone it. who's someone in the bigger game, and yeah. they actually want to do want to do shows for us on like a bigger, much bigger scale. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. Like yeah. we're interested because they've seen us perform before. They're yeah. like, we want to do like ba- basically many arena shows for you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So like you guys, you guys can draw. Like you're yeah. supposed to go to the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we're heading to that direction. Yeah. 
I give it a year. It's going to be great. Well, so everything is just limited by the venues and COVID situation. I yeah. think a lot of us are like way, we're swimming in a really small pond at the moment that we yeah. all have outgrown. Yeah. yeah. And I think that there's enough of us here that know what we're doing. Yeah. Like yeah. we know how to get it to the next level. We just need time. Like it's remarkable how many challenges we've faced. We've just yeah. been yeah. like, we know what to do. Just let us do it. Just yeah, let yeah. us do shows. Let yeah, us yeah. get better. We'll yeah, get better. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Stop tying us down, man. All right. Well, guys. It was a lot of fun. I'm impressed that one person managed to do both of your voices for this whole podcast. (laughs) It's exhausting, man. Yeah, I know. (laughs)